I've got a long way to go, and no time to waste here. Hey guys, it's me again, Xivius Sorrel, with another VC2 video. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but hey, what can I do? I love doing this video. Today we're going to do another post-game mission. It's a third grade mission. It's a level 80 mission. It's called Lance Seal Academy Clash. And we're going to do it. You guessed it. One turn, no damage. Now it's absolutely crucial that you have Lancer Elites with Max versus Armor. Otherwise it won't work. So let's see how this goes. Really? I could use your help here. You're mine. Alright, he's done for now. Now one thing to know. There's a heavy scout that's actually pointing right exactly in this general direction, which causes somewhat of a danger for my no damage run. But the easiest way to deal with that is to use an APC. And the best thing to do is to come towards the scout at the front. That way he hits your frontal armor and he doesn't damage you. Let's capture our first camp. Now this mission involves capturing three camps. This is the first one. Now the important thing to note in this mission is that even though you have this many tanks in each area, there's one tank over here and there's another two over here, what you have to know is that it's not exactly as difficult as it looks. The only thing you should concentrate on is units that surround the camp. Deal with them only. So let's do that right here. I'm ready to go. Everything's gonna be a -okay. And this is why it's important to have max versus armor. Enemy spotted. Especially with Lancer Elites. See that nice one-to-one -one shot kill to shot ratio? If you have max versus armor, you can essentially take out any heavy tank in one shot, even aiming at the front. Now we're gonna capture the second camp. Uh, oh yeah. Enemy sighted. Now that is a heavy gunner, but it's not gonna pose much of a problem. Because as soon as you get into the grass, blue sight lines, which is exactly what you want. Keep it up. 
enemy silent. And now we're going to deal with the last part, this camp right over here. And this one's going to be a little bit tricky. The first thing you should know that there's actually a heavy tank sitting right over here, and you got to deal with that immediately. Luckily, we have Yugen for this. On my way. Yeah. I could use your help here. And his aim is actually good enough to go in between the crate and the building. It's over. See that commando? That's bad news. You're gonna have to outrange him. Oh good, double action. This will help in terms of getting rid of this guy. But, let's see. Except he dodged. Damn him. Oh well. Not a problem. Okay, let's go. Not a problem. See, I gave him I gave all the shock troopers a temp coating. And if you don't know the the right kind of temp coating to use, it is one piece of rare metal and one piece of lead. And what that'll do is increase all of the uh, personnel damage uh, that shock troopers do. And since I'm aiming right behind him, he has no chance to dodge. No, oh, look at that. Another double action. But I don't think I'll bother. There's no point anyway. But why not? Doesn't do anything, but that will be it. And there you have it, guys. Yes! We took their base camp! Well, there you have it, guys. The mission looks incredibly intimidating, but the only thing to remember is to just deal with the units that are surrounding the base camps that you have to capture. Once you get that out of the way, um, it's really just a simple matter of dealing with those units and capturing each camp at a time. Uh, utmost importance, have Lancer Elites that uses max versus armor potential. Um, it comes incredibly handy and is incredibly crucial to one-turning this mission, considering there's over seven to eight tanks in this mission. So, and you gotta deal with around four of them. Well, there you have it, guys. One turn, no damage. How about that? Alright guys, happy Thanksgiving. I hope y'all eat turkey. Did I just say y'all? Uh, Alright, just see you later guys.